Hey guys, we are back again with another speed test comparison between the Galaxy S7 uh, running the official, yes, this time it's the official Android 7.0 Nougat uh, versus the Google Pixel XL, uh, which is running Android 7.1.1. So, so the last time when I compared these devices, I remember the Pixel actually lost when it comes to RAM management. We're basically gonna find out which is going to be the beast when it comes to speed so um let's see here we're gonna boot them up at the same time three two one go and just to let you know that uh both devices of course uh are like uh completely you know stock there's like no root or anything like that and uh we have snapdragon 821 Going up against the Exynos 8890, and uh, as you can see, Galaxy 7 still holds the record here out of all my phones. Currently, it is the fastest when it comes to booting up. So, uh, beats out the Pixel here. I'm just gonna quickly unlock my device, and Pixel is also done. So, Snapdragon 821 here on the Pixel with pure Android, and lots of uh, great stuff here uh, a lot of people say that it's like the most fastest android experience and the galaxy s7 on the other hand is also a pretty fast phone i mean you won't be seeing any lag with this one at all so same wi-fi network on both of these two phones and uh let's see uh everything is closed up in the background as well so uh, all looks good let's begin with the first application that is going to be phone dollar and I'm going to try to be as humanly accurate as possible. So here we go. And I think that was about the same. Again, you guys are the judge here. Next, we have calculator. Okay. I think Pixel is like a little bit snappier. I mean, it feels a little bit snappier with the animation. Um, let's see. Let's see. We have uh, more applications. So settings. Okay, so clearly I can see Galaxy 7 was faster here. Uh, Pixel took some time, uh, maybe because of these suggestions. So it, uh, you know, had like a little bit of a split second of a delay there. But really, I mean, these phones are super packed with power. So moving on towards some third party stuff. So first off, we have the Subway Surfer game here real quick. Three, two, one, boom. And let's see which one will be faster here okay so I think the Google Pixel did finish off first but again uh, not a huge difference I mean it was like almost like a split second difference there but I felt the the music first hit uh, on the Pixel so Definitely, I think the Pixel is faster with the first game. So, really interesting comparison. We're going to go ahead and launch Smash Hit, another game. And let's see, can the Galaxy 7 come back? Okay, that is absolutely similar stuff. Let's check out Instagram. So, launching in 3, 2, 1... Let's see, let's see. Okay, Galaxy S7 done with the latest feed, followed by the Pixel. And it also started playing uh, the video, I think, a little bit faster as well. So, let's uh, see, scrolling and everything looks very smooth. You can check my profile. So, yeah, let's uh, go back and uh, try out Twitter. So, do you have this one on both phones? Galaxy S7 faster there. S7 is now starting to come back, and uh, we have uh, WhatsApp, again Galaxy S7, let's try out Twitter, uh, I mean Viber, so here we go, that was I think about the same, uh, let's check out Color Switch, Okay, I think it was very similar. Can't really say which one was quicker. This one. So, um, yeah, I mean, so far you can say that both devices are like 
absolutely neck and neck. And I'm I'm more interested in RAM management because last time Pixel was not that good. So picking out Tinder. Again, Galaxy S7 faster. Um, let's try out another game, one more game, and that is my friend. We have Gunfu Stickman Do. Boom. And wow, the Galaxy S7 faster. Uh, Pixel was also right behind, but again, it falls short a little bit. So, yeah, I mean, so far I have to say, both devices, like I said, I mean, they are pretty top end devices. And I mean, yeah, I saw Pixel uh, like moving forward in the start of the uh, the start of the test and then galaxy 7 making the comeback and uh you know being faster like split second faster in in most applications so uh yeah not gonna be that much noticeable in real life that's for sure so uh let's quickly launch camera at the same time and see uh which one can bring that up faster for us so three two one go and again samsung galaxy s7 uh just to split here faster than the Google Pixel XL. So, so far, so good. Uh, moving on, we have the browser test. So uh, for that, we'll be using Google Chrome on both phones. All right, guys, first website we'll be opening up is going to be gsmarena.com. And uh, let's see which one will be faster here. Galaxy 7, first one to come to the website. Can it finish? And it also does. And the Pixel is still taking some time. And now it's also done. So uh, that was a a really good victory right there so you can see scrolling and everything looks uh pretty smooth on uh, both phones like you can't really uh, experience any difference there so for some reason i'm having problems with the google chrome browser it actually crashed on my uh pixel xl for some reason so let's see if i can successfully load another website we have wikipedia.org going in three two one go and as you can see, the Galaxy S7 uh, first one and also finishes up faster, followed by the Pixel. Uh, let's try out the RAM management and let's see if there's any improvement this time on the Pixel compared to last year. So phone dialer kept in the memory by both of these two devices. Uh, I really doubt that we're going to see any refresh with the early system based applications. As you can see, no refresh at all uh let's try out some third party applications that we open subway surfer so so far successfully kept in the memory by both phones okay maybe they have fixed the multitasking on the pixel as you can see it is looking pretty good and we have instagram no problem at all we have the Twitter. Okay. Was that a refresh? Showed the widescreen for some time. So I think it was a refresh. WhatsApp. There we go. It is actually showing us widescreen. And not a refresh with the wider, but I do feel like with WhatsApp and Twitter it does it uh, it did show it a refresh there, color switch. Tinder, look at that, widescreen, and uh, maybe this, this application that I opened, this Tinder application, is not like optimized for Android 7.1.1, so maybe that can also be the factor. We're just going to close this and move back to this one, Let's see if this is open in the background or not, and that is closed, so Pixel still refreshes applications um, and for some reason I mean it's not like performing up to its full potential and uh, the Galaxy 7 is like top-notch with the RAM management so yeah I mean in a speed test battle we do take everything in account we uh, test out everything and like multitasking and all that stuff we all the applications that we open we see if those applications are like opened or not and you can see pixel lose that pretty easily it refresh it refresh a couple of applications including a game as well while the galaxy 7 is like perfect so far uh no refresh at all and i've tested it out a couple of times and it always is uh like at top of its game so i have to say galaxy 7 is beating the pixel again uh, with the Android 7.0 nougat stable this time just like the beta it is still beating out the pixel 
And uh, yeah, uh -huh. Pixel is a great phone, I have to say. But it is currently, it needs some some tuning. And uh, and yeah, we'll do the speed test again if Pixel gets like a major update or Galaxy uh, S7 get like Android 7.1.1. So we do the speed test again. But right now, uh, the Galaxy 7 uh, wins uh, the speed test just because of its awesome RAM management and overall apps opening and browser wise uh, the difference was like really close the S7 was winning but it wasn't like that much of a, a big huge difference just split second differences but the Galaxy S7 you know really showed us the, uh, its power when it comes to the RAM management so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video uh, please give it a thumbs up if you are new to the channel please subscribe I make tech content every single day so yeah see you guys in the next one peace out